Hello and welcome back to Anything TV. Uh, tonight, I'm going ahead and revealing um, my full realignment here for um, college football, basketball, and baseball. Um, so let's get into it here. Um, we got two maps in this one here. Um, basically, everything you see here is going to be pretty uh, detailed. If you're wondering about the symbols on top right there, um, those symbols are going to be for it's gonna it's gonna be conference goliath on the left over there conference david on the right so i ended up using a goliath uh helmet for the for that map and a david star for the other one um just so we can kind of differentiate um the leagues here and i can explain it better if you look at the map over there on the left you notice anything you know it's mostly big 10 sec some acc teams and about half of the Pac-12 teams that are left over. Um, we already know they got UCLA, USC, the Big Ten did. Um, the SEC got Oklahoma and Texas, as you can see in the in the center there. Um, as far as the color codes, kind of like the video I did before last time, um, color coded the pods, but we have divisions for both of these now because there's going to be six teams now in each um, division. So we're going to have eight divisions. Um, six teams in each, so it's going to be 48 on each side. Uh, we'll get into the bubble, um, the, the map that's got the right, on the right hand side, the one that's got the bubble, we'll talk about that later on, that's Gonzaga for basketball and baseball. Um, so let's get into the, one of the maps first. Um, let's talk, let's start on the left side here, let's start with Goliath. Um, you know. So all these teams, like I said, Big Ten, SEC, some ACC teams, um, Pac-12 teams, uh, they're all in this map here. Um, these are all like the bigger bigger brand, bigger well-known schools. Um, as you can see, the majority of them, or almost all of them, are over there on the East Coast. Um, it, it's, you know, very cluttered there. Um, as you can see on the map, uh, they kind of really don't want to mess with we don't have anything to do with majority of the Midwest mountain and they just skip all the way to the Pacific. So it's like, they're not, they're not going to be in any mountain time zone. I don't believe. Um, but I mean, games are going to be shown in that time slot, no matter what anyway. Um, so anyway, here, um, on the left hand side, still divisions, um, pink over here on the top. Um, the teams, I think you can see Boston College, they're in the far, they're in the far upper right, right there, where, I don't know if you could see them, I just want to bring it to your attention, that's Boston College, uh, I went ahead and paired them up with, um, Rutgers, of course, they're, they're, they're right underneath them, um, we paired, Maryland's going to be part of the, up here, so it's Maryland and Penn State, and then we got Army and Navy, can't find them, Army here, or Navy here, so that's the pink. That's gonna be the for the. It's gonna be the northwest division there. Um, you can read down the list too with all the divisions, but and you can look here on the map for yourself. So we call that the pink one up there, the northwest. We call that aqua color. We call that the Atlantic. The green is gonna be the southeast. The orange, the south. The purple, Midwest, and the gold is central. The red is west and the blue is Pacific. So you kind of see uh, every team and six teams in each division. Um, you can see all the teams in their and the respective colors there um, for their division. Um, as far as a uh, as far as uh, matchups here, I mean, some of the matchups look really um, really really. Um, it's going to be hard to see who comes out of that side of the map. Um, you know, with a 12 team playoff coming in, uh, I think they'll, they'll explore 12 for a little while. I do eventually believe maybe another five years from now, seven years from now. Um, I do believe they'll expand to 24 at some point. I think 24 will be the final number though. Um, so when they, when we work our way throughout the years, through the next few years, um, through this and get, and eventually get this here, um, with the two mega conferences, uh, we can, um, you know, start working our way towards that now. Um, I mean, it'd be nice if all this could happen right now, 
I'm like again, you know, I'm handing it. I, I'm it's done already here. I got the leagues figured out. I got the TV and streaming services figured out. Um, I know it's easier said than done. You know, I actually go to meetings and negotiate and all that. But what I want to know from what I really want to know from TNT USA, especially in NBC, CBS and and NBC. And I know CBS and NBC is going to change very soon um, in the next few years here. But for USA and TNT, what are you guys showing on on Friday and Saturday nights, or even Thursday? Where you guys, I mean, Thursday, I know they got the NBA for on TNT, but let's say Friday and Saturdays. Okay, ESPN's probably on Friday. USA and TNT, especially. What are you guys showing on those days, especially Saturday nights? You know, what what are we doing? Are we, you know, we can show college football again. It's been shown in the past. Um, basketball, same thing. I don't know, you know, because ESPN and Fox are very saturated. Um, you know, I, I feel like they can be shown on those two. I've explained it before. Um, college baseball. It's kind of hard to find college baseball now, too. Um, I don't have cable or anything, but just even um, just looking for it, it's, it's not, you know, there, there's other ways. You, conference Conferences should not have their networks. Like Pac-12, that should not be there. Big Ten, I know it's a better network, but it's not. I just feel like, I mean, those conferences are eventually going to go away anyway, especially conferences that are going to merge. Something else needs to happen, so... You, I mean, you have to be shown, still be shown on the on on TV, but you got you know each network, each TV network has a streaming service too, and um, you know you can also try to get Apple and, and Amazon both involved. You know maybe one gets a a Thursday night game, one gets a Friday night game. You know, um, Apple obviously would be Thursday and Friday would be Amazon because Amazon's already showing Thursday for NFL, so. You know, you can work something out like that. Um, so, yeah, the Goliath one, you guys can let me know what your guys' favorite matchups in each division there. I did bring back Oklahoma and Nebraska um, as a rival. Um, so, you know, there's across the board, I think there's a lot of renewed rivalries. Um, and also there can be some new ones, too. Um, some are broken up as um, I talk about this one over here on the right-hand side now. Let's talk about this one. So the David, the David um, conference, David here. So we got all the teams here. They're not, I guess they're not quite big brands. I mean, they are big brands, but they're not quite the huge, like the huge ones over here. Um, so it's like a mix of you know the American Conference, Pac-12, uh, the Mountain West, the Big, Tw the most it is the Big Twelve, uh, all the Big Twelve that's there. Um, some Big East teams. Um, I don't think Big East is in football though. There's basketball. So, yeah, and we got Gonzaga up there. Let's, let's talk about them. So, this is a David's, I guess, stone here. Um, you got Gonzaga in there. It's only for basketball and baseball. Um, as you get, you know, just work them, work them into the schedule differently for those sports. Football, it'll just be everybody here that's on the map. Um, everybody here on the map that's for that's going to be for football. Um, I included some s s little bit more smaller schools, but in cities that are that could potentially make them a power um team i don't, I don't see why not um so yeah i mean it's uh, it's all across the all across the map unlike the other one it's mostly flooded on the east coast kind of get a little bit in the midwest then it kind of skips the mountain states and then it goes to the pacific so here we got we got all four time zones on the on the right hand side map here um, you got you got your east, you got your central, you got your Midwest, your mountain, your and your Pacific. So you have all of them. Um, so yeah, I mean that's that's the the those are the networks again. Um, those are the streaming services. I mean th these can be so for these two for these two here, um, Big Noon Fox. Obviously, it'll be a game from this side. Okay, so Big Noon Fox. Is on starts off here. These guys will probably start either the next one. So these guys will start this way, finish here, and then these guys over here will start here, finish over here. So when Big Noon, when Big Noon Fox is going on on this side, of, on this side here, over here on this side, it's going to be their Big Noon will be let's say NBC, 
And then when 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 this one gets shown on, on one of these other networks here, let's say let's say they go let's say they work this way. So you know it'll be it'll be they'll be here, they'll be here, they'll be over here, they'll be here, and then it'll be and then it'll swap. It'll be this way. You know, I don't want to confuse anybody, but there's four time slots in each day on Saturday. Um, there could be games going on all day on just those eight right there. Um, and like I said, the the Apple and Prime, uh, maybe they don't mess with Saturday yet. Maybe they just start off with Thursday and Friday. Have, you know, one game. Have maybe two games. Maybe two games on, App, on Apple Thursday, two games on Apple Friday. I mean, on Amazon on Friday, excuse me. Um, and then you, and then Saturday you just do the, the networks, the TV networks. Um, so yeah, that's a, that's a concept for the, for the TV, TV networks. Cause you know, you have your, your noon game, your three thirty game. These are all East coast times, by the way. So your noon game, your three thirty game, your seven o'clock and your ten thirty. So those are, those are tw four time slots right there. Um, they could be. They could be, you know, easily shown in these windows here like that. That's why it's set up like that. And whatever's going on here, you can stream it, stream both these games that are going on there, stream it here. Both games that are going on at the same time here, just stream it there. You know, same thing, same thing for those. Um, I mean, I, I just don't feel like it's, or, uh, people, I feel like maybe there are some people that try to get it organized like this, but it just doesn't happen because Oh, somebody else has this idea or that idea or it can't be like that no more. You know, it's got to be just one way. Um, and I feel like if it's going to be one way, this is the way to go for it. Um, if you're going to you know, talk about college sports, because you have multiple sports, you know, it's just not it's not just basketball. It's not just football. There's baseball involved. There's other sports, too, that I'm not even talking about. And, um, you know, you could get content on these on 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 this from time to time with other sports, but I mean the three the major the big ones are football and basketball. Baseball is kind of there, and it's kind of not. I kind of feel that it is. I think the I, I, there's just so many teams in baseball too, like there is for basketball. I think you have to include it. Um, football there there's not as many teams, but um, but for all three sports, these would be the teams that can you know. That can compete, can, can compete in all three sports for all these schools here. Um, just kind of have them in separate leagues. You know, we got the giant, like the giant brands over here, and we got the the you know the bigger, the big pack over here. So, um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think that what this concept is. Um, you know, I'm sure they're not going to name the conferences um, Goliath and David, but you know, this was just in a uh, kind of a you know. A little bit of an example of how how much of a big deal the media always makes these all these schools big and they are they're giants they are they 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 got championships in these sports and everything like that um these ones over here you know they're mentioned more for like basketball schools majority of them but um i didn't i did in my last video i did i um i i did add more on this side to, so it could be an even number i didn't have as many teams on this side um, when I did the other video, I didn't even have this map over here, but when I did the other video, it motivated me to do this map. There were more teams on this map. So in order to even it out, I had to get more teams over here. So that's why I added some, you know, some team, some power five teams. And I mean, excuse me, group of five teams. And, um, that that's what they're currently called right now. But, um, yeah, I got grad markets out there like San Jose will de definitely give that this league over here. will give them the Bay area. Uh, Fresno kind of, uh, UNLV's got the Vegas market. So there's still markets here you can get after. Tulane's got New Orleans, uh, UAB over here. We got the Birmingham one involved, you know, so there's other, other teams included here that I didn't include in the other map. So, and I like it. I think it filled out really nicely. Um, I like all the, the, all the divisions here. Um, again, I'm not going to read through them, but you could read through them and they're all going to be listed here in the description. And, um, yeah, you guys can let me know. They're they're color coded here. Um, Gonzaga again. They're just for basketball and baseball. And um, as far as the football scheduling goes, um, we'll talk about that. So for football the scheduling, 
it's gonna it's gonna flip. So the conference games are gonna be a little bit different each year, except you will play you will play um, everybody that's the color that you share with in your in your division. You're gonna you're gonna play all because it's six teams, so it's one one team. Let's get one team from those six teams. Okay, he's gonna play five of his um, division opponents every year. He's always gonna play all five of them every single year. The other you, and then he plays one from the other color each year. So you, so I'm not gonna do Arizona this time. Let's pick on another school. Let's go. Let's go on this side of the map over here. Okay. Let's just pick Texas. Let's just pick Texas. Okay. Because they're right in the middle. So Texas, they're gonna play everybody here. All these these five right here. The rest of them, they're gonna play them every single season. The rest, I gotta stop. Okay. I'm gonna bring it up again. Got a timer here. I'm sorry. But yeah. Anyway. I thought I'd fix that. But anyway, so you're going to play all five from the red. Um, and then after that, one from the purple, one from the pink, one from the, you know, from each other color. And then the following year, it's the same thing, but for a different team from that color. So it'll rotate six years for all the other rest of the, when you play all the rest of the teams from the other pods. And then it'll be the same thing for this one. This side will be no different uh, for football. Um, so overall, it's going to be 12 conference games for this new, um, you know, if they're going to do it this way. But just two non-conference games. The non-conference games don't have to change. They, the non-conference games could be the same every single season, depending on schools. Like this, USC is a perfect example, okay? They play Notre Dame, or Notre Dame. Let's use Notre Dame for an example. They play USC, Stanford every year. Your non-conference that doesn't have to change that could be like that every year still if they want it to be um but in their conference though that's that's the thing the difference about this one conference games will change majority of them will change every season non-conference games don't have to for some schools and some schools well they just don't have a non-conference rival anyway so it can just be who against whoever um as long as it works in the, the schedules work in the favor for both schools and um, so yeah, this side could play two from this side, or you know, two f or from this side could play two from this side um, every single season of non-conference game. And um, so yeah, I think fourteen could, I think fifteen could be the max for college. But I'm gonna do fourteen because you still have your your conference championship game as a fifteenth game. So fourteen regular season games is like the the max I'm gonna give it. Um, that used to be for NFL back in the 70s. So I think for college, these guys can, in the 2020 now, 50 something years later, they can, I think, believe they could do it. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think of this uh, concept here. Um, this was a very fun one. This is probably the, the most fun one I've done. Um, the best one I've done. And um, I think we can put it to rest now, finally. So, um, Again, comments are welcome, you guys. Please share this uh, video. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Um, I appreciate your time. Um, we did a little bit longer than I normally do it, but it was it was worth it. It was a little bit more to cover. Um, basketball schedules. List everything here in the description because um, <laughs> like again, I didn't. I still didn't get to talk about everything, and um, we're already coming up on 20 minutes here. So, but I appreciate your time. Um, again. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, and I will talk to you guys very soon. And maybe about something else now we could finally put this to rest. So take care, guys. Bye-bye.